Kilo Downs, you mentioned before, Brent, the inverted Barcelona. We saw an Argentina light kit yeah. from Roville, and now we've got the inverted Barcelona. So wonderful kits on display today, and no doubt we'll see some fantastic football out there as well. We've seen some uh, iconic kits, haven't we? The uh, Argentinian-type Roval girls out there, world champions, of course, Argentina and the men's. Of course, we don't have to wait too much longer before we crown a new champion in the women's, which will be here, of course, in Australia. Very excited for that, but now we've got uh, Keylor Downs and Maribyrnong in the boys. Keylor Downs, who are the defending champions. So we did see the champions in the girls earlier today. They managed to go back to back, that being Maribyrnong. Keylor Downs, who defeated John Faulkner 1-0 last year. Looking to make it back-to-back -back after Maribyrnong had one in 2019. So it is a college that has had a bit of a stranglehold on this particular competition, Taryn, in both the uh, the girls and the boys. And they're looking to make it a clean sweep today if the boys can get the job done. Well, we heard the raucous support from the stands for the girls game. The Maribyrnong boys cheering them on till the last. And no doubt... Unless the girls have had to go back to school, we'll see that reciprocated this afternoon as well. Back to the school classroom for what must just about be oh, getting towards, I suppose, the final period, wouldn't it? To one o'clock? I think you could stretch the day out to last a little bit longer. Could have been a halfway through recess, wouldn't it? <laughs> We're about to kick off here for our second game today. It is Keylor Downs in the red and blue who will kick you off there going from right to left and Maribyrnong in that just as famous navy blue we've already seen their girls as we have mentioned a couple of times running around in the navy blue and the gold numbers and it will be the boys from Maribyrnong going from left to right as uh, Kilo Downs from the kickoff not wasting at any time possession with the goalkeeper Maribyrnong Casper Fonsbol Come out from the middle of defence. The man with the captain's armband for Maribyrnong. Damien Bozanovsky. We wonder, of course, how much the weather might play a part in this one. We saw some heavy rain at times falling in the girls' final earlier in the day. The sun's currently shining for the boys, but the pitch might just be a little bit heavy underfoot. So we'll see how both teams adapt their game to the conditions. The girls started in uh, sunshine, didn't they, much earlier this morning. It was a uh, 10 a.m. kickoff for the girls. They had to deal with a little bit of drizzling rain, like you said, Taryn. It never become too much of an impeding factor, did it? They managed to fight their way through it, of course. The boys will be hoping that the sunshine comes to stay this afternoon, 16 degrees out here in Reservoir in the northern suburbs of Kaelin Geenan is playing it in towards the 18 yard box. Here is James Rostevsky, Maribyrnong dominating possession early days as we saw them do in the girls game. Now that may well have came off uh, Robbie Farquhar's and last defender for Keylor Downs and the linesman saying no it came off the attacker and so it'll be a goal kick for the Keylor Downs goalkeeper Michael Vonya involved in the Melbourne City youth teams the under 21s originally out of that famous football team the local football team out in Keylor Downs Green Gully of course many many time champion of Victoria Cavaliers for distance early just to try and get out of their own half. Maribyrnong pressing high again into some space. Stevsky gets the ball back into the penalty spot. Cleared away by Keylor Downs who are well and truly on the back foot early days in this one in the opening two and a half minutes. 40 minute halves for the boys. Halves going just a little bit longer than the girls. The girls who of course played 90 minutes earlier today. James York on the football here for Maribyrnong. Melbourne Victory youth player. 
Giving it away in midfield. Go down's an opportunity. And the left hand flank they come. Opportunity potentially here for Koek. To square it up to his teammate, but it was well telegraphed by the Maribyrnong defender. He should spring forward here with Gabriel Aderi. Long diagonal ball will be chased down by Lorimer Bowman. Going to work his way into the area. What a bad ball in behind. Early opportunity for Maribyrnong. It was just flicked on there by Gabriel Aderi. I think he was trying to be a little bit too unselfish. In the end, Kilo Downs have cleared it away. A throw in for Maribyrnong. Looked for a moment as if he was trying an audacious chip, perhaps as well. Just over hit in the end, perhaps looking to go himself, but a very high degree of skill on that. And unfortunately, no teammate at the back post. Still they go, Maribyrnong. York, oh, now winding up a shot from distance. Talked about audacious, Taryn. That was Tommaso Minatoli. Well... He is a young man who knows about scoring goals. He scored 38 goals in 23 appearances in the MPL 3 under-21s last season. That was playing for the Melbourne victory side. He won the golden boot. You might not be surprised to learn. That's a lot of goals. That is nearly two goals a game. That Incredible. An exceptional goal-scoring record. And, in fact, this season, already a goal in the seniors. Maybe we should be surprised that that didn't go in, <laughs> knowing his goal-scoring prowess. Urban on back in possession here. Ruben De Silva won it back. On the left hand channel, dancing on the football is Laura Bowman. Now Bozanovsky. Urban pushing forward. Shabir Sawiz. Now there for the Essendon Royals. Can't link up with his teammate there, Kaelin Guinan. I saw the football almost get stuck in this little pocket. In the girls game, we had, a, I reckon, a good dozen throw-ins. Here we go again, just underneath the grandstand. But it's packed by the friends and families today. And we've done well to get a couple of hours off work. <laughs> off work, off school. Well, there's no better excuse, I wouldn't think, Brent, than a day out at the football at BT Connor Reserve. Doesn't get too much better than this to spend your day off. For those wondering what Brent and Karen are doing here. Well, this is our work, thank you very much. <laughs> Opportunity there comes and goes for Dion Mutari. Just played it off the back of the Maribyrnong defender. Charging forward now, Lorimer Bowman. He's been lively early on that left wing. Can't miss him. In board for De Silva. Just a little bit of a mix-up in communication. Eventually De Silva has lost possession. Mutari. Foul. Going Kilo Downs way. They might be the defending champions, Taron, but they've had a little bit to deal with here in the opening six minutes of BT Connor Reserve. They certainly have, and Bauman and Menace on that far side so far. You can see the pace that he has, and even though he gave the foul away on that occasion, his ability to get back and track back and help out in defence as well. Certainly something that's well sought after. Nice release there from De Silva. Bowman again, he's taking them all on and winning, mind you. Still they come, Maribyrnong, trying to fiddle one through. There was Aldieri. Ending up on the deck was Minatoli. They cannot get out of their defensive half. Kilo Downs, Bowman again. Twisting, turning on the touchline. Being held up by Mutari. Maribyrnong still going in search of the opening goal. Picked up here in the deep by Kalen Guinan of Hume City. Almost losing out there was Will Kennedy. Done well to maintain possession with the red and blue all around him. Early on you can see Taryn, they look so composed on the football, which was a theme with the girls team earlier today as well. They do. Structurally, their full backs are sitting very high. You've got James York, who looks like he's playing as the six or as the defensive midfielder in that pocket of space, ensuring that Kiwo Downs are not able to hit them on the counter. Very well organised so far. We'll look to keep possession and play the ball through midfield, as we saw earlier on as well. The long diagonals like that don't go astray. This one doesn't. It's up right on the byline by Bowman. 
who's just managed to keep the football in play, looking to cut it back for Kinovsky. Cleared away by Kilo Downs. Up on further still by Park Larson. And out to touch right in front of the interchange bench for Kilo Downs. We really need to just get their foot on the football here and just take a bit of a deep breath to Silva. York couldn't feed it through a couple of sets of legs. Bowman did win a foul a moment ago when he was chopped down. This time he does, and an early set piece here for Maribyrnong College. We saw both of Maribyrnong's earlier goals from the girls' game come off free kicks. Maybe a specialty of Maribyrnong Sports Academy. If they can find a way to get on the board here, it'll hold them in good stead for the rest of this final. Gabriel Eldieri stands over it. And he looks every bit the footballer, doesn't he? Socks up and the headband in. Lay it off here for York. Something from the training ground here. Rostevsky can't break through. Kilo Downs scramble it away. Maybe an opportunity here to pounce. There's a long ball forward and the pace. The attacker there. Kilo Downs, Dion Matari. Still going. Eventually he's been penalised for a foul. Great work there from Dion Mutari. Just trying to keep it alive, a little bit isolated. Forward they come again, Maribyrnong. This is Rostevsky. So is. Oh, a bit awkward there from Eldieri. Down he goes. Kilo Downs in possession once more. Bit of try this right hand touch line. Duty is here for Will Kennedy. He's trying not to let the attacker go round him. Unsuccessful and a flying shot at goal. He's just fizzed past that far upright. And for all the early running of Maribyrnong, it's the first real attempt at goal of the game. And it falls the way of the reigning champs, Keylor Downs. Whenever they get the ball, Keylor Downs, Nicholas Koek, the he is off and running seems to be a very clear plan to use his pace to get in behind and put some pressure on the Maribyrnong defence and well very nearly a shot from the edge of the area sneaking in under the crossbar just over on that occasion. What a pass there from Guinan and now going here is Sawiz just got to the byline before he was closed down I believe he's won well he's asking anyway for a corner kick now, Sideline official says no, it was out off the attacker last, and so it'll be another goal kick here for Michael Vonya. Of course, another big shout out to Football Victoria, who have a wonderful relationship with School Sport Victoria and uh, suppliers with all of our officials, not just for today, but all of our football events throughout the year. As we made note in that first game, Taryn, there'll be no There'd be no game, there'd be no sport at all, would there, without referees, umpires, officials? Absolutely We need not. more of them. The unsung heroes of our sport. In fact, so often as players and as people who watch the game as fans, we don't realise just how complicated the laws of the game can be. And these guys do excellent work out on the pitch to enforce them. Only 12 minutes gone here in the opening half of the Premier League Boys Grand Final. Rolling forward here is that man that you mentioned, Koek Tarrant. Lost possession momentarily. Mutari who's been in everything early days for Kilo Downs. It's probably the best passage of play they've had so far this afternoon in terms of possession. For the first time they're able to go all the way back to their goalkeeper Michael Vonya and just take stock. Yeah, both teams just settling in to the match now it's taking a little bit of its rhythm as we tick over the 12 minute mark in this first half you can see Kilo Downs just having a look getting their head up to see when they can spring that pass Maribyrnong trying to set a trap of their own long ball forward not particularly dealt with by Maribyrnong picked up by Koek the numbers lining up on the edge of the 18-yard box and found none of them. 
Shabir Suiz back here for his mate on this right hand touch line. Guinan, Kalen Guinan. Again, Maribyrnong from the back. I haven't looked to use that left hand wing too much. Although when it has gone out there, they've looked particularly dangerous through Lorimer Bowman. The captain asking for some options to make themselves known. It's a bit of a title bout, isn't it? Pillow Downs champions from last year, Maribyrnong champions from 2019. The bragging rights, will it be Pillow Downs to continue, the, continue their hold on the crown or will it be Maribyrnong to reclaim it? Bowman driving forward down that left wing. It's just turned away from goal momentarily by Aiden Kasser. Turned away for good now. Aldieri, oh lovely football. And a chance here from the acute angle back across the six yard box and it's fallen for Rostevsky who fired it straight at the goalkeeper. Best chance of the game comes and goes for Maribyrnong. It fell so nicely for James Rostevsky on the edge of the area exactly where he would have wanted it to fall. Just snatched at the opportunity a little bit, just wasn't able to quite wrap his foot around the ball the way he would have liked. And into the grateful gloves of Vonya. But Maribyrnong certainly knocking on the door at the moment. Just needed a bit more uh, placement, didn't he? He went for um, power. Put it into the one position where he couldn't afford to put it in straight straight down that middle channel where the goalkeeper was waiting for it. He puts it with a bit more placement left or right. That probably goes in and Maribyrnong have the lead inside the opening quarter hour. Kilo Downs just working their way into the game. Long ball forward for them amounts to not a whole lot. Casper Fons bowl. Drive, drive, defensive drive. mates just toying with the Kilo Downs front three. We're just holding off, it must be said. Not, not employing a particularly vigorous press. Aldieri and Bowman, still Aldieri goes. In some space, he just had it whipped off his toe by Ryan Liberato. Both teams calling for this throw in, but it will go the way of the red and blue of Kilo Downs. The number 10 for Maribyrn on Gabriel Aldieri, who you can see in your frame there, just in front of the referee. Got a bit of Jack Realish about him with the headband in and hair slicked back. He couldn't be as fast as Jack Realish, surely. Well, I think that's a fair comparison to make. I think we can start comparing players to, to internationals. Grealish of England and Man City fame as well. Good work there a moment ago from James York in the middle of the park. Back in position here. Just leaving it behind for a moment there was Kennedy. That took a little bit of momentum out of the push forward. Bozanovsky. Grealish, I mean Aldieri, my mistake. And Bozanovsky. He's had enough. He's playing a long ball into the area. Oh, and it will fall perhaps for the striker there in Minatoli. It looked like it might have been in two minds there, Minatoli. It dropped at his foot. He went with the head. And again, straight at Michael Vonya, but another great opening there for Maribyrnong. Yeah, he was reaching to take the shot with his foot and it bounced just in front of him. A bit of improvisation to take the header, but not enough power to beat Vonya, who was well positioned, to be fair. And while we're saying the shots are going straight at the goalkeeper, sometimes it's the positioning of the goalkeeper that makes those shots look less potent than they perhaps otherwise would be. So it is good goalkeeping so far, but again, Maribyrnong really knocking on the door and Kilo Downs, it looks like, in defence. They're defending in a in two blocks of four and really looking to drop deep and cut off the options in midfield for Maribyrnong. But 
if they can't defensively transition quick enough, Maribyrnong are able to find the gaps in those lines and they're able to exploit them at the moment. Parkwarsen just launches the throw in down the line. Bundled over there was Ben Galea. Parkwarsen re-emerges with it. Again off Maribyrnong and out of play, just on that goalkeeping Taron shot comes straight at you it still takes quality and class to capture it and not parry it away back into danger I'm speaking to a former goalkeeper so I don't need to tell you that of course it certainly does especially on the ground will be a little bit wet from the rain earlier in the day the ball will skim on slightly as well Bowman twisting turning in midfield as deep as he's had it York Trying to slide the through ball. He's found his mate. And so is. His shot blocked. Minatoli. It's a lovely ball to play in Bowman is on the byline now. A little shimmy and a shake. And eventually the red and blue doors closed in front of him. York's picked it up again here still. Maribyrnong an opportunity. Aldieri. York might have a pop this time. Cutting it back onto his left. Now looking to play it into the feet of his striker Minatoli. But... Just trying to do a little bit too much there, Maribyrnong. Yeah, being a little bit too tricky on the ball. Sometimes you've just got to pull the trigger the first time. You see that net from no matter where you are on the pitch looking for the better option rather than sometimes just taking the shot. Eldieri popped up on the right wing. Now... Just pulling the ball into the 18-yard box. It's away by Keelor Downs, but only as far as Jimmy York. Oh, Altieri, that was a nice dummy, but I don't think he anticipated his teammate and the exact whereabouts. Keelor Downs coming forward. Koek still going. He's gone by two or three of them. On the right-hand side now, a ball in. Too close to the goalkeeper, though. Casper, Fons Bolt. Looks to launch Maribyrnong forward in the blink. The number two on his shirt, Kasper Fonsval. So, I'm not sure whether that was his preference or maybe just a bit of fun having the number two on your shirt as a goalkeeper. Well, he might say, I'm wearing number two, but I'm the first choice. I'm sure he tells folks that. Bowman. Everywhere in this opening 20, almost 21 minutes. Guinan. Dinks one into the area. Here's El Dieri who goes to the byline. Sided of against playing it back to Guinan. Goes back to his captain, Bozanovsky, instead. Bozanovsky into the area. Oh, audacious effort there from Bowman. Still alive for Minatoli. In fact, it may have gone out of play. A goal kick. We've used that word audacious a couple of times, Taron. That would have been whatever the word beyond audacious is, that would have been that. It was an attempted scorpion yeah. kick, I think. I thought it was Riley McGree. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Riley McGree scoring a scorpion kick in the A-Leagues a few seasons back. That's what I thought we were about to see unfold in front of our eyes. Just pulled out of it. It looked like at the last moment I wasn't quite able to twist his body to pull that off. Obviously, the degree of difficulty is... Very high. And it was a long way out as well. He was only just inside the 18-yard box. It would have taken something extraordinary. The young man who plays his local football at Northcote City. Well, if you're going to do something extraordinary when the cameras are on you, it's a very good time to do so. It's potentially an opportunity for Keelor Downs, but that ball has gone astray, and that might be a good opportunity. Taryn, you just mentioned camera work, to give a big shout-out to our gentlemen that are out there on the touchline we've got a two camera set up today and we've got the uh, the best producer in the business Raf Agostino here making sure it all goes to it uh, <laughs> goes to plan You're watching on the SSV website and across our socials as well Premier League soccer grand finals Maribyrnong winners earlier today needed extra time to overcome Roville in the girls and now it's the boys turn to try and double the dose 
and reclaim the title as well after winning in 2019. It's good to see the girls and boys from the same school line up back to back because we can see an identity emerging. The way that both teams have played their football, certainly from Maribyrnong Sports Academy style of football. Maybe an opportunity here for Minatoli with his back to goal. Trying to play it off to Bowman, who was crunched on the edge of the 18-yard box. There's no whistle. Bowman has stayed down in the meantime. These Maribyrnong teammates are playing on. He's back up now, Lorimer. Minatoli a chance on the volley. It's well blocked, in fact. The last-ditch effort there.